Red Light Runner has died. And what really happened when a federal drug bust ended in a crash that killed an innocent driver? Good evening. Federal agents say Lonnie Dean was making a $20 drug deal when they moved in and he took off. The chase and crash left an innocent woman dead and left Dean in a world of trouble. Ian Schwartz is here with the latest. Jessica, it's a story that is shocking the Berlin community. And if it goes the way a similar chase turned crash did in Albuquerque, Dean could be facing a lengthy prison sentence. This is all that's left after investigators say Lonnie Dean ran a stop sign and smashed into a woman traveling down to Berlin Road yesterday. Federal agents say Dean was flying down that road after they moved in on him to bust him for selling 20 bucks worth of meth out of his car. Agents say they tried to box him in, but the drug bust turned into a demolition derby when Dean rammed their cars and took off. Agents gave chase but stayed back thinking Dean would run into a dead end. He never did and continued on until he ran a stop sign and slammed into Roberta Torres as she drove down the street. Dean was arrested on drug and assault charges. It was a similar story a year ago in Albuquerque. Police say Jeremiah Jackson robbed a bank and during his getaway, he crashed into a car stopped at a red light, killing the two women inside. Jackson was charged in their death and could have faced the death penalty if convicted. He hasn't been tried yet. The feds decided not to pursue the death penalty with Jeremiah Jackson. The state police could charge Lonnie Dean with vehicular homicide, or the feds could take over that part of the case and hit him with murder-related charges like they did with Jackson. Okay, Ian, Lonnie Dean had a pretty lengthy criminal record, including drug, burglary, and theft charges. He was still on probation at the time of the crash.